children grow older, the path they may take relies on the choices that you and I make. Teach them forgiveness, teach to them love. Most of all, Jesus and the Father of above. We're changing the world, one child. Do the work of Jesus if we teach to them God's way. So let's all join together to give the children of the earth a guiding light, a ray of hope, the love of God at birth. We're changing the world one child at a time. For each one is special. You know, the most exciting thing that's happened since Upper Valley Community Church has started isn't the buildings, but it's all the lives that have been changed. But yet, when we look around, we can see that almost 83% of the people in our area do not tend to church anywhere. That's true, and that's why we're calling this Project, Project 83. Our goal is to double the size of our seating capacity in our worship service to allow us the chance to reach the other 83% that don't know Christ and what He can do for them. And this drawing here, this aerial view shows our property. And isn't it something that's right on exit 83, which I think uh, God is saying he's put us here for this reason at this time. Yeah, God has given us a great opportunity to change a lot of lives. And uh, he's given us that mission. And uh, I believe that we'll have a great opportunity and a great harvest if we'll just be obedient and do the part that we can do. Now you can see on the sheet where we are, the existing building, but the red square uh, represents the building we hope to build now, which will be twice as large in worship area as we are now. And then eventually, somewhere down the future, n some number of years, but the Lord knows, maybe the blue one would be built, which would be an even bigger sanctuary. And uh, the gray out front is future parking. But of course, everyone wants to know if we're going to build this bigger sanctuary now and an even bigger one later, What's going to happen with the one we're hoping to build now eventually? Well, we have great news. We, uh, we feel like we could convert that into a, additional foyer space with access out to 25A and the new parking out front, which would give us a gr greater visibility than, uh, than we've ever had. Uh, we would also be able to add some additional office space that would be needed at that point. So that building wouldn't be wasted. It would actually be converted into, uh, uh, again, a great foyer and a great entrance into a new sanctuary. Well, God has certainly led us in the past, and I think he's going to lead us this time. And it's really great to have a church that is so into bringing people to the Lord and seeing lives change. That's true. And I believe God is going to use this church at this time. He's brought us to this place and time for a special reason. I believe he's going to use us. Heather and I, my son, lived across the street um, in 2000 and um, lived there for a short time, was curious about the church, but never came. Um, so moved shortly thereafter. Um, this past November when we were looking for a church that was the first church that came to mind that we came um, to check out. So we came together and were very nervous, very, you know, curious what was going to happen, didn't know what, you know, the church was like. Um, so when we first came in, Mrs. Mary Jetter was the first one to greet us and was very welcoming and took us over to the Welcome Center and we were toured around the church. Um, went into the service, sat in the back row, you know, didn't want to be too obvious, didn't want any, you know, too much attention put on us by any means. And uh, the music started and it was the day that Pastor Andy was speaking and he was handing out dollars, so it was a good service to be there. Um, but the music started and it was then that I just started crying and I just 
felt, you know, God was speaking to me then that this is the church for us and this is the church for our, our you know, my entire family. And um, I left and came home and was so excited and couldn't wait to share with my husband and the rest of my family that the church that we had found. Both, both Tyler and Grace accepted Christ this year and it's been a huge benefit for them. Um, just a couple weeks ago, actually, as we were driving home, you know, Grace said to me, I don't remember what it was like not having church. I love church and it's part of our life. We didn't know how we were going to fit it into our schedule, but the kids love it and they've had made so many great friends and are learning so much. They love it. Well, our family started coming to UVCC about six years ago. We had three teenagers at the time, and um, they were looking for a place to plug in with more teenagers. And uh, our intention was to church shop a little bit, and after three weeks of coming here, the kids never wanted to leave, and we didn't either. So that's when we started coming to UVCC, and our faith from the very get-go just started to grow and grow and we plugged into small groups and the kids got involved in music ministry. Um, Courtney got involved with um, doing skits and so forth and it just really felt like a family church to us which was terrific. That's exactly what we were looking for. Not only did our faith grow in our family but um, this church has just exploded and grown. And now I think is the right time. We're so excited about this Project 83 expansion. Um, the land finally became available, so God is kind of opening the doors now, which were somewhat closed before about the land. And um, it just is really the right time. You know, recently we've had to go to three services because we've had so many people. What a great problem to have, you know? So um, we're just really excited about Project 83. Two to two and a half years ago, uh, Susie and I were really involved in the campaign for raising money to pay down the debt on the existing church. And uh, God put it in our hearts to step up and give more, and we gave more to help pay down the debt on the existing church, which now has enabled us to look at putting on an addition and building a new church. And all of that goes towards bringing more people to God and God's Word. and bringing more people in the community out of the troubles that are in the community and bringing them here to the church and changing the lives of families and children and the campaigns to put money toward the church are really a worthwhile thing for your funds for it just you never miss the money the money's there uh, it seems like it never went away um, I've actually been attending Upper Valley for quite some time I fell away from the church for a while um, when I was in high school and I found my way back now. I was in a bad situation and uh, now that we've came back it's just been a great blessing for my daughters and I. I think I've grown spiritually, emotionally, everything. I have a lot more confidence. Um, like I said, I was in a bad situation and um, I'm not in that situation anymore and I have a lot more strength now that I came back to the church and just raising my daughters in that environment is important. I see people every day I come in contact with, whether it's up at the soccer fields or baseball fields or wherever we're at in the grocery store, just many family members that I don't know, you know, in the grocery store or friends I do know that just don't know the Lord and I absolutely think that they need a place to come to and UVCC would be great. <laughs> I definitely think that we need to continue to follow God's will because if we don't, I don't think that we're going to continue to grow at the rate that we have, if any at all. I know when we started tithing and, and just giving for other mission trips or different things, we, there was many times that we gave sacrificially. and. We have been blessed so many times I can't even count, but I know there's several times we were talking before that really stand out. We received a car right when we needed one, and it was like just free and clear. We didn't have to pay anything. It was just come and get it, and it's yours. And we were, it was just amazing to watch God work when you give sacrificially. <laughs>